Hi there, I'm Chris Perrins, originally from Wisconsin. I now spend summers in Wisconsin and winters in Florida. Last fall, in the depths of the pandemic, I spent nearly two months in the Mojave Desert of Southern California. This was a totally new environment to me, and the drastically different climate had an impact on my art vocabulary. After writing daily journal entries and taking hundreds of photos, I knew that I had to express the experience in my artwork. Upon arrival at my studio in December, I immediately dove into painting desert images. The painting Traces is from my canyon series, inspired by a late afternoon hike in an isolated canyon near Joshua Tree National Park in California. When we entered the canyon, a respectful hush came over our small group. It seemed as though the bizarre rocks had a story to tell, one of violent, volcanic formation, and eons of silent sentinel duty. They formed the towering walls of the remote canyon, a place that felt somehow sacred. Ancient travelers had left their traces in mysterious petroglyph messages scratched into the rock walls. Eagles, free to fly high above the walls, had built a nest near the canyon rim. Even though it was abandoned, the bird's construction revealed traces of life in contrast to the static rock formations. I was energized by the spiritual atmosphere of the place, as well as the design possibilities of the varied textures and patterns in the eroded rocks. In planning my painting, I decided on an exaggerated vertical format to emphasize the height of the canyon walls. Using my photos as reference, I made a pencil drawing on my paper board. Next, I made several color tests to choose my limited palette. Although watercolor is usually worked on a nearly flat surface, I started this piece on an upright easel. I used gravity to cause the wet into wet application of watercolor to streak downward, just as minerals, deposits, and bird droppings had dripped down the actual rocks over time. After the underpainting had dried, I began establishing some definition in the center of the composition. I applied layers of dry brush to mimic the texture of the volcanic rocks and create sharp contrasts in the nest area. Finally, I used a damp brush to lift pigment and create the subtle suggestion of petroglyphs. The completed painting reminds me of the emotions I experienced when exploring the canyon. I hope that I have communicated that sense of awe and natural history to you as well.